Hi, I'm Justin Hicks. Do you find yourself struggling with these shots around the green in terms of thinking too much about mechanics? I want to go over a process that should simplify things quite a bit and get you much better results. The first thing I'll do with this shot is I'll survey the lie. Here obviously the lie is pretty good, I have a few choices. The second thing I'll do, if time permits, is I'll walk up to the green and I'll try to get a sensation for how soft or firm this green may be. Based on that, I can begin to figure out where I want the ball to land and what trajectory. If you're still struggling in visualizing that, one thing you can do is begin to toss balls. So on this shot here, I'm going to try to land the ball about where the keys are and then try to match the loft to the loft I toss it. The next thing I'll do is I'll do a couple practice swings to the side of the ball. And I'm going to try to feel the right length of swing for the ball to carry from here to the keys. And then the second thing I'll make sure of is when I do my practice swings, I'm making sure that I brush the ground. And when I brush the ground, it should be slightly in front of the golf ball. Something like this. better. The students that I find that really struggle with these pitch shots, they're way too focused on the ball on the ground and never look at the target. Their practice swings, if they do any, resemble this. And what happens is the more they focus on the ball on the ground, the more tension they create and the more nervous they get. So again, as you go through with this, try to figure out where you want the ball to land at what trajectory. If you're struggling visualizing that, go ahead and toss a few balls. Try to pick the appropriate club to hit the ball the proper trajectory and then take a practice swing or two by the side of the ball, trying to feel the right length of swing and just making sure that the club brushes the ground. If the club brushes the ground correctly, you'll get great contact.